friends my name is akshya in this previous video i had talked about the existing irrigation projects of godavari river basin today i am going to talk about the existing irrigation projects of krishna river basin number 1 mahatma gandhi kalvakurti lift irrigation project through this project 4.10 lakh acres of land can be irrigated and it also provides safe drinking water facility to the chronically drought prone areas in the mahbub nagar district this is first one next second one raju bima lift irrigation scheme this scheme lifts water from krishna river at panchadev pad and raman pad and provides irrigation facilities to the chronically drought prone areas of 15 mandals it also proposed to provide safe drinking water facilities to 196 villages of mehboob nagar district this is second one third one jawahar nettam padu lift irrigation scheme this scheme draws 21. 4 to 5 tmc of water to provide irrigation facilities covering 2 lakh acres of land in the drought prone upload areas of 148 villages of gadwal and alampur constituencies this is third one next fourth one priyadarshini jurala project this project provides irrigation facilities to the ayakat of 1.02 lakh acres of land in the drought prone mandals of atmakur kotakota pebbe of vanaparthi district vipagandla and kollapur of nagarkarnul district under ntr canal darur itikkal and monopad of mahbub nagar district under nalla somanadri canal this is fourth one next fifth one rajoli banda diversion scheme this scheme is an interstate project of karnataka and telangana which is constructed across tungabhadra river in the raichur district of karnataka state the water was supplied to the 143 kilometers long area through rajoli banda diversion scheme rds next number 6 coil sagar lift irrigation scheme this project was built in mahbub nagar district and it provides irrigation facilities to an ayakat of 12000 acres in amarchinta constituency in mahbub nagar district this is sixth one next seventh one palamuru rangareddy lift irrigation scheme This project provides irrigation facilities to an ayakat of 1 lakh acres of Nagarkarnul, 4.14 acres of Mahbub Nagar, 3.64 lakh acres of Vikarabad and 0.30 lakh acres of Nalgota. This is seventh one. Next eighth one. Gattu lift irrigation scheme. This project provides irrigation facilities to an ayakat of 28000 acres of land in Joglamba Gadwal district. This is eighth one. Next ninth one Dindi lift irrigation scheme. This project provides irrigation facilities to 3.61 lakh acres of land and provides drinking water facilities to the district of Nagar Karnul Nalgonda Yadadri, Bhuvanagiri and Rangareddy. This is ninth one. Next tenth one, Uday Samudram LIS. The scheme draws 6.70 TMC of water from Uday Samudram, balancing reservoir for share of AMRS LBC project. It provides irrigation facilities to the ayakat of one lakh acres of land to some of the. drought affected upland areas of nalgonda district this is 10th one next 11th one nagarjuna sagar project this project was constructed on the river krishna in the borders of nalgonda and guntur districts area irrigated under this right canal is 1.1 million acres in andhra and 0.32 million acres in telangana this is 11th one next 12th one sri selam project this project was constructed on river krishna in the borders of mahbub nagar and karnul district 
2.20 lakh acres of land is irrigated by using this project. Okay, I'll meet you in the next video with a new interesting topic. Please subscribe my channel and like the video. Thank you for watching. Next, seventh. <laughs>